Hey, what's up, everybody? This is uh, part two of my recent DVD update. I'm going to show you these three magazines I got to. I got a Fangoria magazine with uh, Sherry Moon Zombie on the cover from The Lords of Salem. I thought The Lords of Salem was better than the Evil Dead remake. I know a lot of people don't like this movie, and I'm sure no one agrees with me on that comment, but I really like this movie better than the Evil Dead remake. I don't know. To me, that Evil Dead remake was way, way overhyped. And then I got a Horror Hound magazine. And it's got a Beetlejuice and a History of Animated Horror. And it talks about some sequels from 1988. The year of the sequel. Then I got a other Horror Hound magazine. Another Horror Hound magazine. With, uh, this is a Christine special. Alright, let's get to the movies now. First one we have here is Dead Mary Unrated. This movie sucked. Not scary at all. Got fooled by the cover. In the back, it's got a picture of this girl that looks possessed. Thought she reminded me of the girl from VHS. This is like a Cabin in the Woods movie. Kind of like Bloody Mary type movie. This movie sucks. Stay away from it. It wasn't even worth the three bucks that I spent on it. That was Dead Mary Unrated. Got a couple of werewolf movies. Howling 4, the original Nightmare. I liked it. It's been so long since I've seen it. I thought that Eleanor chick was pretty fine. And uh, werewolves were pretty good. Uh, toward the end, I was laughing so hard at that retarded werewolf in the uh, bell tower. That was fucking hilarious. I just started laughing so hard when I seen that. But yeah, this is good. The Howling for the original Nightmare. Good werewolf movie. Then we got an old school werewolf movie. This is a Werewolf of Washington. This one was kind of a slow burner, but I liked it. Old school classic style werewolf movie. Pretty cool. Then I got Blood Moon. This is another good werewolf movie. It's about this girl that's with this traveling sideshow. It's kind of like a sideshow circus kind of thing. And uh, she's basically getting tormented by the locals of the town, some punks and stuff. They throw dog crap at her. At one point in the film, they're throwing uh, darts at her. They, they have her as like the wolf girl because she's got hair all over her body. And they make her go out there and act like she's just a man-eating uh, man animal and stuff. But she's really not. Anyway, some kid that's getting bullied by the same people goes and he tries to help her takes her to his house and this mom's a doctor she's uh, working on a, a cure for uh, hair removal and um he injects her with a serum and uh she starts getting animal killer instincts but this is a good movie this is blood moon it was reviewed on the fry tube about a couple of weeks ago when they had werewolf week it's a pretty good movie got it for four bucks brand new at this video store that's closing down then we got House 2, the second story, Midnight Madness series, pretty good. I thought the first one was better. Then there's the two, next two movies are some blind buys, Full Moon Entertainment. This is uh, Netherworld, there's a place between heaven and hell. I've never seen this movie, I, I know it's like from the 90s or something. I got that at Alco, and then I got uh, Castle Freak. I've been wanting this one for a while. Finally got a hold of it. Having some good expectations for it. Looks like a pretty good movie. And then I got uh, Friday the 13th, Jason Takes Manhattan. This is pretty good. Not the best Friday the 13th movie, but I liked it. Only paid three bucks for it used. This next one isn't a horror movie, but I got to put it in there. It's a recent movie I got. This is Rampage. Uh, best way to describe this movie would be Grand Theft Auto comes to life. Uh, I thought Brendan Fletcher did a good job. This is the dude that came out in Freddy vs. Jason. Um, great movie. Dude was very clever the way he pulled everything off. It's just clever villain. Really liked this movie. It's a good movie. This is Rampage. And then I got the Chernobyl Diaries. Um, I seen this at the movies one time. I didn't care for it too much, but 
then again i only seen it once so it was only five dollars at walmart so i picked it up i don't know i watch it a couple of times maybe i'll grow to like it and then i got piranha double d had it at Alco for only four bucks i was like what the hell might as well get it to go with part one pretty sure it's corny as hell it's got a Gary Busey and uh, David Hasselhoff in it. But that's it for now. For my update. Probably be a while before I do another one. Going to be going out of town soon here. But good thing about going up north to Wisconsin. They got a place called Exclusive Company. And they, they have a lot of rare films up there. So maybe I'll find a good gem or something. I'll come across a good movie. I know the Texas Chainsaw, Mas the Texas Chainsaw Massacre came out. Or the Chainsaw Massacre or whatever. I'll probably eventually get that. Uh, maybe next week or so. But I'm going to limit my spending. Because I'm going on this trip. And uh, looking forward to getting some good stuff up there. Until next time everybody. Hope everybody has a good weekend. And um, thanks for watching. And see you later.